Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at firewall filter rules. So at the same time I'll introduce you to my new website. It's tksja.com and this website will be used to supplement my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll be posting additional information on the site such as scripts, uh, images and stuff like that that will help you in in the tutorials and uh, make the experience much better. So so what is a firewall? So really um, a network firewall keeps threats away from sensitive data available inside your network. So really a firewall protect your network from intruders it also is used to block and filter certain activities even within your network. So a firewall can be used to block things internally and also block um, access externally in your network. So it can work inside and outside of your network. So let us just um, do a quick look at this article. So this article just gives a overview of what is um, the firewall and the risk and what it protects against. But I've included a script that which is an essential script to protect your router. So most Microtech router or all Microtech routers come with a default firewall rule but some of the time um, if you reset the router uh, to factory default and you didn't accept the default configuration it will remove those rules so if you have those rules that's good but I've added additional rules to this list that will even protect you against some um, other things so here's a script and uh, all you need to do is to copy this script and uh, add it to your your router so what I'm going to do is click on the copy to highlight everything and I'm going to copy this alright next I'm going to go over to my router I remember so you remember to go to IP firewall to get the firewall filter rules. Uh, if in this router there is no filter rules, but however, if 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 that situation where you have already have these rules already, there is just one rule that you need to add, additional rule that you need to add. But I'll address that um, later on. So for the persons who currently don't have any rules, what you need to do is go to terminal. And we are going to paste the rules. Press enter. You can close the terminal window now. All right, so we have just loaded the essential firewall rules. I'm just going to just run through a few of these rules so you can understand what they are. All right, so establish. These are just all traffic that passes through the router. It will accept those type of traffic. And then what it do is drop in valid um, packets. So packets that the header or the header information is not correct and stuff like that. And these are just to accept uh, traffic for, for a particular port. This is TFT uses this port. And this one is one of the essential rules is to drop all one um, connection that is not destinated not so what this really mean is that if a user from or someone from outside 
say someone on the internet try to connect to your network this rule will come in effect and drop all those connections because there is no port forwarding that was configured for those type of connection in the network if you had done that then this rule would actually um, skip over or would not filter that that traffic all right so another rule drop um, bogan list and as uh, as a part of this firewall rule i've added a address list and let me just change a view on this i'm going to change to inline comment so it's much easier to read so these addresses are addresses that are not routable um, outside of the network so these addresses are not supposed to be going towards the internet or going to the internet so I've set a rule now that so this rule to drop the bogan to drop bogan um, list meaning that any rule that meets that the destination is an address from this list it will drop the packets so it protect your network in that sense and this rule will just drop all drop all connection that wasn't accepted in the first place all right so that's part a part b now is that persons who already have a firewall rules the default rules configured you only need to add this rule so what i'm going to do is remove this rule and i'm going to go back to the site all right and what you need is the address list so this is just specifically for persons who already have the default firewall rules you're going to copy this address list and you're going to add those to your terminal like what we did before and you're going to do one more thing you're going to copy IP firewall filter or let me just show you how to do this so we're going to copy this rule go over to your terminal and then we're going to type IP firewall then we're going to type filter enter and then you're going to paste that rule so we're going to just going to add just the one to drop the boga the bogans list enter so we have now created that rule this rule should come then you should move this rule above the last rule so it can be here but it shouldn't be below because anything else on this rule will be dropped so just make sure that this rule is above the last rule that is the one that drop all other connections so typically this firewall rule uh, will help to protect your router against intruders uh, you can go ahead and modify this rule also if for for any reason you're you're running the script and you're getting an error check your interface so these rule these two rules uses an interface so what you need to do is to check your interface so, so this interface is ethernet one but say for instance you have renamed your your ethernet one to something else you'd have to paste the script into like notepad 
and change the name name to so let me just show you quickly so I have, I have a script here alright so we have the interface here so if your interface was say 1 you could have changed these to 1 and um, do the same where you copy and apply it so these are the only two, two rules that you need to make a uh, change on if you are getting an error if your interface name is different or you could just go ahead and change your interface name to ethernet1 and then the rule will work because it's looking for the default name so, so this is how you go about um, protecting your router there's a lot more that can be done with firewall filters but this is a, the basic and essential um, stuff relating to firewall that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't and if you have a comment please leave it and i'll respond to you so that's it and thanks for watching